your bell crew. It's Aguael, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all story time video. Stay tuned. So as you saw from the title of the video, I won. So I bet you're wondering, what did you win? How long ago was it? And so forth. Stay tuned for me to give all the details. All right, so October 2015, I decided I wanted to go to LA because I had never actually visited the city. And I had a friend from college that I kept saying, I'm gonna come visit you in LA, that's her hometown. I'm gonna come visit you in LA. And it took me a while, but I finally made it there. So last October, I ventured off from the south all the way to the west coast and uh, well south closer to the east so southeast part all the way over to the west coast and uh, i knew i wanted to do certain things while i was there i said somewhere on a list somewhere that i want to be on a live taping of a game show or just be on a game show and i'm thinking like in the audience not necessarily playing but that was on my list and i'm all about checking things off my list that i really want to do and not just waiting around and saying I want to do it and not doing anything to work towards it. So, so on my list, I got me tickets to Let's Make a Deal. And uh, tickets were free, you just have to reserve them. So I know I was going to be there from a Wednesday till a Sunday. So I said, well, let me see if I can get it for a Friday. So I got the tickets and I, I rented a car while I was there. So I drove to... The studio and they have you line up I had my costume on I was Rosa the Riveter check out the uh, uh, pictures here and this is a little snapshot of the video right before I uh, went to the studio Alright, so today I'm going to be on a live taping of Let's Make a Deal. Can you guess my costume? I hope you guessed it. I am Rosa the River. And so, um, hopefully I get chosen for some cash or something. But if not, just being in the, um atmosphere is gonna be fun somewhere on the list some years ago i said i wanted to be on a live taping so since i finally got a chance to come to cali i was like oh let me try to get a ticket for it. let's make a deal and it worked out so i'm about to head there now um looking forward to it uh i don't think i'll be able to this is a video of while i was in line Ooh, now let's make a deal But everyone in line was dressed up in their different costumes. A lot of people were from some part of California. And you wait in line, you get your number, get your name tag, you sign off about whether you've been on a game show uh, recently and so forth. Mingle with the people in line. And they call you in small groups as you're moving up the line to um, kind of like introduce yourself. So I just myself, share where I was from, things like that. Had a really good time. Then they move you inside, take pictures, meet other people, find out the rules, and so forth. And uh, from there, you don't know what's what. It's never told to you. You just go through the different processes, and you know you go from there. So we're waiting around, um, just mingling, talking to people, just having a good time. And then they walk you into the studio. So you're sitting in the audience, and you don't know if you're just going to be an audience member, or you don't know if you're going to be playing or not. That's the, the surprise, the joy, the fun part. Because you're just there to have fun, and hey, it's icing on the cake if you actually get to play the game. So I'm excited, I'm inside, um, music on, dance, having a good time, cheering on those who've been called up to play, and just excited, you know, just enjoying the atmosphere. And after one of the commercial breaks, I hear my name. Is there a in the office in the audience? Is there a 
I don't think y'all know my real name, but my real name is Jamie. Is there a Jamie in the audience? And I'm like, that's me! <laughs> I jump up and I walk out of my aisle to meet um, Wayne Brady. <laughs> and uh, we go through the introductions and he pulls out an envelope. He says, time to play the game. Do you want what's behind door number two? Or do you want what's in this envelope? And in my mind, I'm thinking, envelope is likely going to be something. It could be behind door number two, like a zunk. So I'm just thinking in my head, uh, that people are cheering in the audience. I'm like, what am I going to do? But even though I'm like looking and listening to their suggestions, they always get suggestions, I already knew I'm going to choose the envelope because it's a greater chance of it being a prize in there. So I asked for the envelope and Wayne Brady in true comedic fashion was like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm sure. And so he opened the envelope. Well, actually, he showed what was behind door number two, which was a zunk, so I'm glad I didn't pick that. There'll be one thing to make it to the audience, to actually get caught up play, and then to lose. So I'm glad that didn't happen. So I didn't pick door number two. I picked the envelope. So he showed me the zunk, and I was like, yes, I bypassed that. So then I was like ready for what was in the envelope. So he showed us the envelope private yacht cruise and when I saw that I was like so excited so um fast forward so even though it was taped then I couldn't tell anyone so I didn't even tell you all so I could tell anyone I was on the show I had to keep it zipped and so I um didn't tell anyone people were that knew I was gonna go was asking so did you play did you win I was like I, I went there and I just left it there and uh, I'm a pretty private person, so I'm pretty good at keeping stuff. But anyway, so let's fast forward. Come April, I'm at work, and my phone is like vibrating in my pocket. I'm like, what's going on? I look at my phone, and I see text messages from my aunt, from my friend. They're like, keep winning, keep going. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, the show must have aired. So they gave us like an expected airing date, but it's not, you know, definite. So I was thinking uh, it was going to air later, but it came like a month earlier. So yeah, some of my friends who are like off in the daytime, I got a chance to see it. So that was really cool. And then I went home and I looked up on the, the CBS website if I could find the video. And so uh, I was excited when I could and I could see, you know, what everyone else had seen. And, you know, was it like I felt like it was going? But anyway, so um, afterwards, they call you to fulfill your prize and so forth. So fast forward to this past October last month. I got a chance to finally redeem my prize. And I experienced my private yacht cruise with two of my good friends sailing across the ocean in California. Beautiful day. They had a spread of food for us. They had drinks for us, music. I really had a great time. And I'm glad that I got a chance to go to Let's Make a Deal, won a prize, got a chance to experience the prize, and this is all free of charge to me. So um, stay tuned for some footage from the private yacht cruise in LA. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. And remember to keep it fly. Keep it fabulous. And I will see you in the next video. Remember I make videos weekly just for you. So always tune in Wednesdays and Saturdays and sometimes I do a surprise day. Press the notifications button so that when I do drop a video, you're there and able to see it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, also comment, let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So we just got to the Port of Call Village. We're about to board the yacht. As a walking out. I'm so excited! <laughs> so I went from winning a prize on Let's Make a Deal to actually about to enjoy the prize. Six hour private yacht cruise with food, drinks, with my friends.
the Lady M. video right now. That's Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> 